no longer. The 488 Spider is so close to being the equal of the GTB in every regard as to make no difference. It's 110 pounds heavier, although a claimed 55 pounds lighter than would be an equivalent soft top, the mass added by the roof mechanism on some underfloor reinforcement at both ends. Yet Ferrari claims an identical 3.0 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time for both versions and says they're only 0 3 second apart by the time they reach 124 miles per hour, which the Spider manages in 8, 7 seconds. More remarkably, the 488 Spider is within a second of the GTB around a lap of the company's Fiorano circuit and with its roof raised has, Ferrari says, 95% of the torsional rigidity of the coupe, beyond the need to find slightly more money and losing the chance to see the twin turbocharged V8 through the GTB's clear engine cover. You don't really lose anything by picking the Spider. In technical terms, a DNA swab would not separate the two cars. Ferrari tried to develop a separate suspension tune for the Spider but then realized that it worked best with the exact same spring and damper settings as the GTB. The adaptable systems apparently are quick-witted enough to effectively cancel out the slight differences in mass and structural strength. Ferrari is particularly proud of the vehicle response time of six hundredths of a second, this being the time between making a steering input and the car starting to react. It's the same for both cars, and just as quick as hardcore.